Back in Hungary. It's Scotland leading Austria. By a score of nine to one. Scotland in blue, Austria in white. Still battle for the face-off. Eventually picked up by Scotland. First quarter, it was pretty even. Scotland 2-1 after one, but seven unanswered including two in the final minute of that first half for Scotland. Feet across, shot fake goal, thing of beauty for Matt Carey. Coming in on the shot fake is Chris Kunert. Unable to fight that off. Second goal today for Matt Carey. Austria will have the possession. Marvin Lurch with it. And this is an Austrian team that did not compete in the 2012 World Champion, European Championships, only started playing lacrosse as a country relatively recently, competed in the 2008 games in Finland. Looked like Andre Sucher had gotten something in his face mask as loose and control that ball. So Scotland will have it again. Gilbrook with it. Gilbrook, nice dodge. Setting up. Scotland bunched up in front, save. As Kunert didn't know where it was, able to recover it though. Gilbrook recovering for Scotland. Scotland has been one of the best teams in the tournament to this point. A sixth place finish for the national team and the senior team at the World Championships in Denver a couple of years back. 3-0 coming into today. One of the few remaining unbeatens in Hungary this week, England among them, as well as Israel, Finland, and the Netherlands. And after tomorrow, that number will drop one because Finland and Netherlands play each other. Finland has been very impressive in these games, or Israel allowing only seven goals in the four games that they have played. Thomas Kiss. Now Halbert. Nice 
Austria possessing the ball well. But they've not put a whole lot of rubber towards Cage today. Alex Stewart McGregor just had to make two saves in the first half. Makes one here. But a whistle coming out. On a Scottish penalty for pushing to John Goodwin. First man of chance of the half for Austria. Right into the waiting stick of McGregor Dallas. Well, two saves in the first half, already two in the third quarter. Scotland a comfortable advantage. 10-1 leading in the third. Contributions from all around. Harry a couple. Pasajewski a couple as well, and Ryan Sage too as well. Scotland losing it there. Wind picking up here in Budapest. One of the cooler days so far of the European Championships. Look in front, knocked down by McGregor Dallas. Ground ball scooped up by O'Donnell of Scotland. Shot blocked in front. And Daniel Topolanik got tripped up. Harry doing his best to draw the ball loose. Lohner for Austria. Things they did well in that first quarter being turned against Austria now. But Scotland doing a much better job on the ride, forcing Austria to uncomfortable situations. But even when they are successful, by the time they get into the offensive zone, they might do something like that. Defender lost the stick. Austria unable to take advantage before he recovers, though. Now we're going down. Flag down, delayed penalty coming up on Scotland. And that will blow the play dead a moment on a slashing penalty to Scotland. Jackish. Hour coming out of trouble. Hour across the crease. But the pass got all the way through. A bouncer in front of Dallas McGregor who knocks it away. Austria with some good opportunities on this man up. Interception for Scotland. Tom Loke has it. Most improved defender on the Scottish team leading up to the 2014 
World Championships. And he has continued on that upward trajectory as well. Dehansky. The ground ball rolls around the defender as well. And an easy clear for Scotland. This is Farrington. Midway portion of the third quarter. Gilbrook turned his side. This leaves it up for Ross. Up top. Richardson. Sajewski turns, fires, and puts it in top shelf. Cole Pasadewski, goal number three on the day for Scotland. And an even 10 point advantage for the Scots as they lead 11 1. We had a we might have a penalty. Ew. Penalty to Rintaro Fujita for slashing. So Scotland will go a man up. Nearly intercepted. Austria chance to kill off the man advantage. Future. Had it knocked away by Carey. Good wrap check by Carey. And Carey high stepping across midfield. Now Carey will tip it off. Scotland nearly losing it. Going in down low. And out of bounds behind Cage. But Scotland will have it off the missed shot. Near side corner at X for Scotland. Pasajewski, that was Carey, who hit a defender on his way to cage. Pasajewski, trying to cut inside, defender falls down, top left corner. Fancy footwork for Cole Pasajewski, who's got back-to-back -back goals for Scotland. And five on the day for the blue and white, who now take a 12-1 advantage. Just excellent body control coming from X. Faked one way and then the other, and it got the defender to slide down. Scotland winning the face-off. And they go right back to work.
Here's Jeffrey charging towards net and scores. Bryce Jeffrey, who has twice represented Scotland on the national stage, once as a senior member and once prior as a U19 member. First goal today for him. And first goal of the tournament overall. So with four minutes remaining in the third quarter, Scotland in control on this one, a 13-1 lead over Austria. As they try and remain perfect on the European Championship slate. Ross dumping it off. That's loose ball push against Scotland. And Austria will have it back. Gilbert got tripped up. And a flag is down, so delayed penalty coming up on Austria. Gilbert trying to get out of the way, stay out of the crease. But eventually the ball hits the turf. Emil Landgrave called for an illegal procedure. Referees talk this one out. We get ready to go. Richardson waiting for the OK. Led the U19 team in scoring a couple weeks ago. Seven goals, seven and assists in the five games. Just about two minutes remaining in this third quarter. was calling for it on the far side. A shot pulled wide, but Cunard got a piece of it as well. Penalties released as we are all even. Gotland in front. And a goal will be waved off. They say Sage stepped in the crease. So Ryan Sage thought he had a goal, but it's taken away. And Scotland will have to settle to stay at a 12 point advantage. Inside the final minute of the third. High pass. And the ball scooting all the way out past midfield. 
Right into the waiting arms of Kasajewski. Five goals out of the 13 today for Scotland. Now on to 16 for the tournament. Here's carry at X. Richardson. Scotland looking for more. John stopped by Cunnert. Cunnert heaves it downfield with time expiring. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter. All Scotland right now. Shown why they are the best team in the group. Scotland over Austria, 13-1. To the fourth we go in a moment. <laughs> 